Hello everyone, we are in the Beauty Everywhere um, Highly Robust Oracle Card app and today we are focusing on one of my favorite Elena Fairchild Crystal Mandala Oracle deck which is composed of three sections or I guess I would hesitate to call them sections. The deck is, wow, we already got someone trying to jump out and speak to us. Uh, the deck is set up to uh, discuss ascended masters, uh, goddesses, I think they are towards, yeah, goddesses, and then additionally, uh, they also talk about angels, yep, here in the front. So um, the cards are numbered, I think this deck goes from 1 to 46, hold on, let's get all the way to the end. Oh, 54. Wow, that's 54 cards in here. Um, so we're going to explore uh, Crystal Mandela Oracle um, in order. And we're going to start off with, uh, I think the angels are first. Yeah, starting off with, um, so it's, uh, excuse me, angels and archangels. And you'll see at the bottom, um, we, you'll see it says Crystal Angels 444 and each of like the different the masters and the goddesses each have a different um angel number associated with them so this deck you know i say is definitely not for the beginner but it really challenges you to use your intuition to almost literally feel the energies of the different archangels coming alive from the mandala you know, really sitting in the space of working with sacred geometry. Um, because let's take a look at the back of the, the card. And while it's definitely very um ro ooh, excuse me, robust in terms of Elena Fairchild's description and really combining uh because another suggestion I would say let's flip flip back real quick is it's gonna take time for one to memorize the different um angels and masters and god god goddesses associated with this deck but you know a lot of us very easily know the crystals so selenite is what that's a soft um moon-like energy uh archangel um i do not want to botch this name melchadek now i don't know too much about that energy but like i said i can kind of guess from selenite i can guess from looking at the actual image and start to kind of get a read on, okay, what is this card about? Because I will warn people that when you flip to the back, you have a very, excuse me, you have a lovely message written from, um, from excuse me, by Elena Fairchild, but it's not going to provide you necessarily a um, encyclopedia-like guide on, A, hey, this is Archangel Malka Jack's <laughs> energy. This is what Selenite does. Um, as you can kind of see, it really just kind of gives you like a, um, almost like a channeled message, then kind of more like a supporting text. Then I think you get a proper, hold on, let's go over See, it's a lot of text. That's why I said it's not for the faint of heart. This is to me a um, complex Oracle card deck. But this is more, again, advice and suggestions and ideas. Now, it does inter to intertwine, of course, the theme of divine perfection. But it's not going to, like I said, give you that encyclopedia-like. Um, because they really only mention or re-mention the angel and the crystals right here. Um, I guess the healing process could be almost what you would want to call like a guided meditation. As you can see, they say, you know, say this invocation. And then, and then even from reading here, it doesn't really call out more about, you know, what exactly this angel spirit is. Um, so keep that in mind that, you know, you may need to do your own research to kind of further help your understanding as you work with this deck. But definitely don't let it be a, a hindrance because I think this is a deck that you're going to have to work with, you know, multiple times a day to really get a feel on what are the energies that you're, you know, because it's an exercise in trusting your own intuition and depending on where in the spectrum you are, with your intuition, this deck could be too challenging. Um, but let's take a look if, if excuse me, more here as, as you can see. So before we had, um, archangels and it kind of leads off with the archangels, Metatron, um, and then you see we do go here to, um, I'm trying to pick an angel. So here's another one. Here's Archangel Michael. 
Um, now who is this? Archon? Now that this is a new one back. Speaking of googling things, um, Archon. So again, I'm like just trying to look to see what does it say for. Doesn't really provide much. Um, so that's Archon. And then here is, oh, that's another archangel. And here's his, uh, a regular angel, Raziel. And you can almost see like the angel imprints in the um, mandala image. So I think this is again a deck where you almost want to take a scrying like approach and just really just sit and close your eyes real narrow and see what jumps out at you. So let's just see. So if there are, there's what, 56 cards and there's three different types. Let's see, where do the angels end? So we're at card 16, 17. Oh, so it goes up to, because 19 starts, Ascended Masters. And then y'all see down at the bottom, it says Crystal Masters 333. And back over here, we're angels, 444. Um, so let's just, you know, uh, at a real quick high level before we wrap up. Because like I said, this is one where you just really need to get uh, draw into the visual um, images. So we have smoky cores or the crit or the crystals that you like, um, because there's some popular ones. Like I said, you got to give yourself patience if you don't know all the different angels and archangels. But we have aquamarine, wings, smart smoky quartz, rose quartz. This looks like malachite, an archangel Raphael. I think this is a very easy beginner card, and just kind of like how I would even uh <laughs> sit with this card myself. You know, instantly it looks like a little beetle or a little scarab or even an insect, you know, whatever comes to you. Like, I know you may be thinking dung, dung beetle, but dung beetles do what? They're part of the ecosystem <laughs> in terms of supporting regeneration. And what is regeneration but healing? And that's what Archangel Raphael and green, the color green, um, you know, grass and, and uh, or life, you know, is, is known for. So that's just a little bit of a stretch, but you really have to use your imagination. Here, black tourmaline, purification, tiger eye. That's pretty easy, easily seen. Um, let's see. Archangel Gabriel. This is actually really pretty. And you can see, look, look on the look on the car, you have the silhouette of the moon. So there's some clues. You know, what does turquoise make you feel feel like calming? Like, even some of the art down here looks like hearts. So, you know, lean into what you see and let that be a part of the reading. I think this deck really pairs well with, you know, tarot or other, or, or excuse me, healing oracle card decks. Um, or I would use this when I am probably starting a reading to kind of maybe hone on, okay, who's here with this? Is it an angel, a master, or a goddess, you know, or someone's ancestor? So many different jaspers. This is another pretty one. Um, blue ups, blue obsidian. Yeah. And the Labrador dorite, selenite, pink calcite, and starting back off with clear quartz. So okay, so this was a, just a quick review of Crystal Mandela Oracle looking at the angels and archangels. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now and, and excuse me, stop the recording now and then we'll take a look at the Ascended Masters next. <laughs> 